Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jim Weldon. I'm president and co-founder of Fox2 Technologies, where our focus is on improving fuel efficiency and reducing carbon emissions in commercial and military aviation. The motivation for our company comes from my background as a captain at American Airlines, where I realized that the airline could save money and reduce its fuel consumption if it could only accurately weigh its aircraft before flight. To make this possible, I formed a team which includes Roger McPeak, a successful software entrepreneur, and Greg McDaniel, a professor of mechanical engineering. And together, we've created a technology that converts the landing gear of the airplane into a set of scales that allows the airline to weigh the airplane and optimize the aircraft performance. So you might ask, why is this important? <laughs> well, here we have an example of an operator who has made a mistake in estimating how, is, how much his vehicle weighs and how that weight is distributed. Here we have another example of an operator who's made a mistake estimating how much his vehicle weighs and how that weight is distributed. It turns out, and you all might be surprised to know this, that the airlines do not directly weigh their airplanes, they estimate the weight of their airplanes. They use assigned average values for passenger weight and for baggage weight, and sometimes they take labeled cargo weight. This estimation process sometimes produces mistakes, and as you can see from this example, uh, some of the mistakes are dangerous. Other mistakes lead to increased costs. Some of those increased costs come in the form of fuel. This is an example, a cartoon example, of an airplane that is airborne that is unbalanced. The weight is too far to the rear. When the weight is too far to the rear, you have an imbalance. It acts to increase drag. The pilots need to use more power, and this increases the requirement for fuel. It increases your fuel burn. This cartoon airplane is properly balanced. It is fuel efficient. The Boeing engineers tell us that if the airlines could properly balance the airplanes, they would realize about a 5% improvement in their fuel efficiency. So what does this mean to the airlines? Are they, is this an important factor for airline economics? And the answer is it is very important for airline economics. The airlines burn a lot of fuel, and it's very expensive. Uh, the graph, uh, that vertical column in the graph is in billions of dollars, and this shows the changes in jet fuel prices over recent years. And as you can see, the prices have more than doubled since 2002. And we all went to the gas pump this morning and saw that the prices are continuing to rise. So the problem is only getting more severe. For an operator who operates a Boeing 737, uh, these numbers translate into a daily fuel cost of $25,000 and an annual fuel cost of more than $8 million. That's for one airplane. The 747, of course, is a much larger airplane. And just as a point of fact, uh, it burns a gallon per second. So if you're operating a 747, you're paying something that approaches $50 million a year in fuel costs. My former employer, American Airlines, last year spent $6.4 billion on fuel, which was 30% of their total operating costs. So how can we help this picture? Well, we help this picture because our technology enables the airline to improve their performance by a factor of 5%. This means that the 737 operator, on a yearly basis, would reduce his fuel cost by $400,000. The 747 would reduce by $2.5 million. If American could magically take our technology and implement it immediately for the next year's run, they would reduce their fuel cost by over $300 million. The potential marketplace, as you might expect, is significant. It's very large. Uh, the retrofit market, just for commercial airliners alone, is currently 18,000 airplanes. This is a Boeing number based on uh, the number of airliners in world fleet, 737 size and larger. If you want to expand your target market set uh, to smaller transports, such as military transports, uh, corporate jets, uh, charter operators, uh, this retrofit number grows to 65,000 airplanes. For the original equipment manufacturers, Boeing and Airbus, uh, pardon me, Airbus both agree that the demand for passenger air travel is going to continue to increase in the foreseeable future at about a 5% rate and they're forecasting the need for an additional 1,400 new airliners every year. So the airframes are available to accept our technology. The aviation market is sending a strong signal that they need fuel-efficient technology. After 9-11, the airlines went to Boeing and asked them to produce an airplane that was significantly better in fuel efficiency than the current generation aircraft. Boeing's answer was to build the 787 Dreamliner. 
This airplane is a composite airplane, and it generates a 20% better fuel efficiency than current generation airplanes. Boeing's charging, on average, $140 million for this airplane to generate this 20% benefit. And to date, they have 590 firm orders. At a lower level of technology innovation is something called the winglet. This is also a Boeing product that they're marketing to their airline customers, and perhaps you've seen it. They're vertical fins that go on the end of the wings of the airplane, and they help redirect airflow to make the airplane more fuel efficient. Uh, for a 737, as an example, your fuel efficiency improvement is about 3 to 4 percent, and Boeing is charging $800,000 for this installation. Uh, our third and important point is that our competitor, Crane Aerospace, is marketing their version of an aircraft weight and balance system, and they've successfully contracted with Boeing to supply 50 sets of their weight and balance system for a Boeing freighter aircraft at an average price of $500,000 per set. So how do we stand up against the competition? I think we stand pretty well. The crane system is a large, mechanical, complex, heavy, bulky system. It suffers accuracy problems, and it's not sufficiently accurate to gain these fuel efficiency savings. Its primary benefit is to act as a safety hedge so that that earlier picture we saw of the airplane sitting on its tail doesn't happen. Uh, Honeywell is also in the market. However, their sensor system is not as accurate as it needs to be to capture these fuel benefits. Uh, by contrast, my partners and I have developed a fundamentally new technology to sense load in the aircraft. Our accuracy is very good. It's a very simple design. It's easy to implement. It's robust, and it's very accurate and allows the airline to capture this information and improve their fuel efficiency. We've patented our technology. Going forward, our plan for penetrating the market is to ally ourselves with a major airline or a major systems integrator. This in the industry is called a launch partner. We would use the launch partner to field our beta prototypes to develop operational experience and then develop a reputation for operational excellence. And we would use that partnership to create a demand pull for our product. To summarize, We've identified a market opportunity in aviation where the industry really needs fuel-efficient technology. We've demonstrated clear customer benefits. We've created a superior technology. We've acquired letters of interest from major airlines and major systems integrators. And we bring to this task a team that understands the aerospace markets, that understands technology development, and has a track record of successfully bringing technology companies to market. If I was to summarize this in one sentence, in a general sense, I would say that our goal here is to automate a manual procedure, capture valuable information that is currently being lost, and bring real fuel efficiency improvements to a large industrial enterprise. Thank you very much, folks. We've really enjoyed the competition. It's been very beneficial. We'd like to thank you very much. Thank you.